Hey, how's it going? Just coming back from a resource run. Kind of made our way through the swamp on the Dinosuchus. This thing is fantastic for taking out all the creatures. Don't have to worry about the other Dinosuchus. Don't have to worry about Capros. It's super, super nice. Need a bunch of hide, man. For today, we're doing stuff a little bit different. So there's quite a few things I want to do in today's video. And one main thing is work on some saddles. So as you know, we've had problems getting Dinosuchus saddles. We're still using a primitive one. Had problems with the Sarah saddles and things like that. Now I do a ton of drop runs off camera. Haven't found any man. So not sure what's up with that, but it makes it kind of frustrating, mainly because whenever we get towards the boss fights, the main thing we need is saddles, right? So there's a mod I have installed. I've been working on it for the past couple of days, getting it set up how I want, and it's called the Upgrade Station. Now, a lot of you probably already heard of it. I've done a lot of stuff in ASC about it, even had a mod review. Main reason I uninstalled it was because everything was super, super cheap, and it made going from primitive all the way up to the Ascendant Saddles very, very easy. I didn't like it, so uninstalled it in ASA. There's a lot of I and I edits you can do to make stuff more expensive, and I made stuff fairly expensive, man. It's gonna cost a lot to use that. So, we'll be taking a look at that today, and then we want to do some breeding. So, in the last video, we got the other Dinosuchus here. You alright? Won't even look at me. Dude is not happy. He's still, still sleeping, not even awake yet. But this one, <laughs> this one's a hefty one. Kind of like the main stat we had from our shinies on the other ones, but it has a dark color scheme. So, we want to kind of try to breed that in if we can. We also... Have the Carnos over here. We got a shiny one. It's a Midnight, but it has a lot of green on it. Not a fan of that. We happen to find the other gender that has blue on the main field. So we'll do some breeding with them. Try to get our colors mixed in. And I actually found another one over there. We're going to start off taming that real quick. And get that kind of sorted out. It's a hardy one. So it should add into some of the health and stuff. These are hefty ones. A lot of my stuff is hefty from the shinies. But let's go grab that real quick. We'll come back here, do some breeding. Do some stuff with the upgrade station. And kind of go from there. Let me grab my stuff real quick. Left it all here. And then we don't have any kibble, do we? Absolutely not. That's fine. We can make some. Let's grab our cooking pot. Now there was some updates to a couple of the mods. Mainly ASR. There's an item in there. We'll take a look at before we go. I am super excited about something I've wanted for a very long time. Let's put this here and we should be able to do our kibble still. We can. Let's grab a little bit of wood. It's going to be a lot of stuff around base here today. Let's just do 500. Light the fire. Let's do... Can we do 10? It's still bugged with the water thing, huh? What is going on with this? I'm not too sure what the deal is. But it's been bugged for a while now. Let's grab a, a skin or so. We've got enough for one. I think we need like three pieces for doing the tame. We'll fill these up. It worked before, so I'm not sure what broke it. I have uninstalled the mod and reinstalled it. Let's see if adding water here. If not, we'll just make it in the normal cooking pot. Yes, it can't even, can't even do anything. Totally broken, dude. Totally broken. Let's grab our other one. Very, very bad start to the day. But for the upgrade station, it's kind of cool. If you don't know about it, it's got a lot of stuff in there for upgrading anything from saddles to armor. You can craft it from a primitive one and upgrade it from there. And I'm hoping to do as much as we can today on the Dinosuchus. Try to get those sorted out. Really, really hoping we can get some decent saddles because we do have the boss fight coming up here soon. I don't want to throw that. I want to throw this. And there's a couple extra parts to it. you got augments. You've got um, salvage table, blueprint maker, things like that. Oh, auto craft off. Wanted to make at least four, three, four. Need some more chowder. Let's just make three more of those. I don't want to be here forever. We have a lot to get done. All right, so while that's crafting, let's go ahead and take a look at the one part from ASR I'm super excited about. I'm not sure what it's called. Let's make one of these. It's a half railing. Dude, it's a half railing! I have been waiting so long for half railings, man! So we don't need it right now, but you can kind of see it works right there. Why is that <laughs> not in the base game? So apparently the clip point on it is the same as one of the quarter, quarter ceilings, right? So it should fit in a lot of places. Now a couple of our builds, we needed those and just didn't have them. Never understood why 
Those weren't in the game, but it is now. Let's let's do some testing. Collision is good on it. Wanted to make sure it wasn't just a visual thing, where it's a half, but really it's a whole. But yeah, you can see right there, man. Walk right past it. Ah, oh, that is so nice, man. Now, I do have another one installed, another mod. It's Clinger's Rustic Structures, I think it's called. There's a lot of stuff in there. Let's unlock some of these things that we need for today. So we need the upgrade station. Gonna need the augments. Salvage station, that's kind of like a grinder. But with a grinder, right, there's some things you can't grind. And I think with the salvage station, you can grind everything. Let's go. One more of those make in. Let's do another extraordinary. We need three, I think, for the... The tame. Gotta wait for that to finish. Kinda out of spots. Let's go ahead and start making the upgrade station. Now, for making blueprints and stuff, we've got the table over here from CS for making blueprints, but there is one kinda included. We might get rid of this one, just to have the upgrade station one. I'm thinking we'll set it all right here. So there's that. Looks kinda cool. Got some different stuff on it. I like it. I like it. And then let's do the other parts. One's gonna be salvage. That's ASR. There's the augment station. Let's build that. And then blueprint. Right here. Now, there used to be different tiers of this. There used to be the wood tiers. Used to be metal tiers. And, and just, just a disclaimer, this is not a full tutorial how to use this. I haven't used it in a very long time. But I just want to play with it today. Try to get some saddles set up for our dinosuches. And go from there. This is a salvage station. It's kind of big. They look cool though, man. It's not too bad. So that's where you make the augments to change uh, like some of the thermal settings on your armors. You can make the durability ones for your saddles, for your weapons, things like that. And then salvage. I think I have it set in the I and I to give us back 80% of what it costs for something. Now in the gator, we got a lot of stuff I brought back. Let's get our extraordinary kibble. Oh, we need to check for our. Yep, these first. Two more kibble. It would be good to go tame that Carno real quick. Kind of sucks that the cooking pot's broken from... CS. Two of you? What are we... so heavy on for weight? Get rid of this. I'll take that. What is extra in here? Get rid of this. How many slots do we need? Holy crap, dude. Guy just wants to make some stuff. So in here, we got quite a bit of stuff. Killed off some of the dwarves. Quite a bit of shiny creatures around. Let's grab these. We are going to need the metal. Grab that as well. We got a ton of food too, man. I got so much meat in here cooking up. We won't have to do any farming for meat the rest of the time we're here, I don't think. It's a lot, dude. It's a lot. I did a ton. <laughs> A far meat off camera, man. Holy crap, dude. Alright, so for salvaging. Drop this stuff in here. Not our good crossbow. Salvage item. There we go. It's a lot cheaper than using the grinder. It's a lot smaller, too. So long as I keep using this mod, we'll keep this installed. And use that for doing our... Our grinding and stuff. That's a little grinder on top, too, man. It looks pretty cool, dude. Really nice detail. Can't wait to see the metal versions whenever he gets that put in the game. It's supposed to be coming here before too long. Oh yeah, I got a uh, another little one, man. Got a little Bronto. We'll go ahead and raise him up today too. Let's drop off this stuff. We'll drop off our building part. Super excited about that. You have no idea, man. I mean, if you've been watching my videos, you know how big of a deal that is for me. All right, there's two of those. We got this extra stuff. We'll throw it in the refrigerator. And then we are heading out. Shouldn't be too long. It's not very far. We'll go on the cat. Keep that as well. And this. Alright. Where's the cat? Here he is. Dude, we got so much stuff out. Did some uh, metal runs. Got about 10k metal just from around the mountain there. It is so much, man. Took the Anki and then took the Dinosuchus as tow. Just for some protection as well as carrying some of the metal. Had to do a couple runs. Ton of crystal, too. And I found one more of the Berserk Raptors. One of the ones I passed up the other day when I was searching around. Killed him off, couldn't find the other one. So we got a couple more parts, and then the dwarves in the swamp. The swamp is totally clear. There was so much of the Dinosuchus in there, and all the metal's back. Nice, dude, nice. So the Carno is right here. Was right here. 
hopefully is still right here. So it's another gilded one, so it's got the kind of yellowish orange color, and then it's a hardy one, so more points into health. It's got 33 base before taming. Yep, I hear you, buddy, I hear you. I want to tame you, take you home with me. All right, but look, I don't want to talk about it. He pushed me, man, he pushed me. We need to come over here to get some fiber, too, because he gets some rare flowers with the, the fairy from those blue ones. Not very many, but you get some. I'll tell you what, let's drag it back this way, towards base. Torpor stop. Let's go ahead and give him another arrow to the face. Come this way, Junior. Yep, come this way before you start running. Probably two more arrows. He'll be good. That way we're somewhat safe over here. Yep, he's gonna run. There we go. Nice. It's a level 165, so 180 is max on those guys. He'll be a few minutes. I don't know if we can go back to base. So I'm going to sit here, let him get tamed up, and then we'll go back and start doing our upgrades as well as doing some breeding. Probably start off with the Carnos. Not really too worried about the Dinosuches. Again, mixing those in, I think we just get two more points into weight. And then the colors kind of mixed over. That's the bad part is doing the color. Seems how we got the better breeding. The stats are super simple. It's just getting the colors kind of changed over. It's, <laughs> it's quite the pain, dude. Wish there was a way to select what colors you want to go from the parents to the little ones. And we'll set up the Nanny as well. I need to do that anyways for breeding our Dinosuchus for the boss fight. And we'll try to get the Bronto out. Main reason I grabbed him is because it was a little one. The levels aren't good, but the colors look kind of cool on them. So, we'll keep them for breeding later on. There we go, man. There we go. Very nice. I like it. Let's go ahead and pick Junior up. It's only two pieces of kibble, actually. Hello? Got rides? There we go. Took it a second. Take a look at some stats real quick. So it's a female. Turned out to be a level 247. We got 46 into health. 47 into stamina. Weight is 38 and 46 into damage. I think that's better than the other ones. So 46 and 46. Health and damage. Turns out to 4284 into health. 1710 into stamina. Weight is 528 and 426.9 into damage. Kind of excited to see how it is against the other ones. I think it's going to be better on the health and... The damage. Might have to use those for some boss fights. That one drop always comes down. Yellow one, just below base. I tell you what, man, like I said in the last video, if we were going to stay here longer, I would definitely put an elevator over here, just in this corner. Make it so much easier getting up and down to that side of the map. So, let's get up here. Throw this guy out. I think what we'll do is... Probably do breeding on this guy first. Oh, those are, those are both females. Hmm. Let's breed those two, get the colors kind of mixed in, and then we'll work on this gilded one afterwards. I think that's a plan. What we got there? We need to set out our nanny as well as the egg hatchery. Oh, before we do that, let's get, let's get this sorted out. One thing at a time, dude. We got so many teams out over here. And this we can kind of just destroy. Not going to mess with it until it's fixed. Need to put in a bug report about it. That's kind of good there. Let's grab our nanny. Probably just set him out front here. That was kind of the plan. Set him out on the front. One of you accidentally made two. That's the way that it goes sometimes. Let's turn off snapping. I think we'll just set her right here. And then for the hatchery, set it right next to her. So that is activated. So is she. Let's change our food amount like I always do. I like 25. We'll pull a little bit of food over. We'll do cooked meat. Let's just do... All of that. And then some berries. Don't have too many of these, but we'll pull what we have. I mean, that kind of works. Alright, so that's kind of set. Let's go ahead and turn on the... Mating on these guys. I need to empty this one out. So we can kind of get him out of the way. Nice, man, nice. Kind of nice doing a whole day of base for a change, just to change things up. Watch out for the windmill, please. It's expensive. This will kind of work right here. Got a ton of stuff in here, though. Not worried about the meats too much. Oh, the polymer. Let's grab that, though. Kind of overweight. There we go. Helps a little, man. We'll throw out our Bronto here, let him start getting raised up. 
Like I said, main thing about this guy, I kind of like the colors on him. So let him get raised up. We'll throw him into the terminal and probably won't touch him ever again. I mean, if we ever find some that are shiny, want to get tamed up, I want to get some of each creature if we can. Kind of add to the collection. Alright, so, now that we've been stalling long enough, I actually need that. Let's go ahead and do some upgrades. Where do we want to set the blueprint one at? Could just do it over here for the time being. There is no snapping and stuff on these, so it's kind of weird. It kind of works the same way, though. All you do is you take your blueprint, put it in here, then you can kind of convert it over. Now this, I have it disabled, but with this, you can actually set it to where, when you use a crafting po uh, potion, and make the upgraded things, you can put them in there and still make a blueprint. Over here, you can't. I have it disabled. I think it's kind of broken. You shouldn't be able to. A lot of stuff I changed just to work for my gameplay. I like to do stuff as vanilla as possible. So the main thing we need, let's grab our Dinosuchus saddle. We'll just upgrade this one. Now all you have to do to start this is grab a primitive one. And you can actually upgrade it from that. I'm not sure the cost of this. <laughs> I just did testing on the first level to make sure. I think what I have it set at is two times the base resource. And then I have the scaling for every time it gets upgraded. It's set at two times. So it, it increases the higher you get. So just making some primitive ones, upgrading, won't be too bad. But as you get to like Mastercraft or Journeyman or Ascended, it's going to be super expensive to upgrade them. And that's kind of what I want, man. If I end up doing this instead of finding the blueprints in the wild, it's going to cost me a ton. So what we need to do, you can do this. It'll tell you up here what you need. We need the uh, metal ingots. I think you need everything that it used to make it. So let's pull some fiber, metal ingots, and hide. We're going to just pull everything that we have, which is quite a bit. And then we're going to need some hide. I have been farming like crazy, dude. I think we're kind of shy on fiber. We are. We don't have too much. About 6,000. Alright, so I don't want to use all of our stuff because I do want to make some of these as well. What are we going to need for the saddles? The main thing I want to do on the saddles is I don't want to do the increased armor. Okay? Okay. For me, it's kind of pointless because the main thing you want to do with that is just do the blueprints, right? And get it the armor reading that way. However, the one that I want to use is decreased durability. So, on saddles, it has a durability rating, but all it has to do is a visual thing, right? Now, on the blueprints, the durability kind of dictates how much it costs to build it. So, once we get our blueprint done, we'll make some of these. Gonna need fiber hide and chitin, and then we'll go ahead and lower the durability. That way, our final blueprint should be cheaper to make than the original one. I think. That's that's the goal. That's how it kind of used to work in ASC. So. Attempt. Okay. So it actually upgraded it to Ramshackle. Now it has a 50% chance, I think, to upgrade to the next class. Or it can do a couple in the Ramshackle thing, right? So it might just go up to, like, 39 or 40. So it doesn't go up very much, and it still costs a lot each time. So, upgrade again. Okay, we're up to that. Upgrade again. We need more fiber. We need 5,000 more fiber. That's what I'm saying. See how much more fiber we need just for that one upgrade? 5,700 more for the next, uh, next click. That is nuts, dude. Let's go farm some. And I think our hiding stuff is gonna go away very, very fast. So we're down to 7,200 on the metal. I think we started off with, what, around 100,000 on the hide? We've already used about 10,000 on that. Alright, let's grab the fairy. Where's the fairy? Right here. And give me a second, I'm gonna run out and grab some fiber. I don't think there's any fiber around here, which is a problem. And then, do we have some eggs? Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Oh, we do, we got two. Cool! So I'll hatch some of those whenever we come back. And do some more on the upgrading. I think I might go over to where I saw... The little blue flowers over here where the Karna was. It should be somewhat safe. Right before I started the video, I just came back from cleaning all that out. I mean, there is Bronto spawned in. And let's do delicate. Seems how we're going for some fiber. I want to keep these somewhat the same. So we got 19 into the power harvesting. And 19 into that. So we'll kind of just bounce around on those. Keep them somewhat even. Then we only need one theory for doing all of our harvesting. Kind of excited about that. Now I do like using the Mantis as well. 
So we might get rid of the Dodic as well as the Anki here soon. I'm thinking about taking the Mantis over to Aberration whenever it drops. Super, super excited about that. That's the one thing that's missing from our base is fiber. Now, I got quite a bit. It respawns over there just about as fast as you can pick it. So it's kind of nice, man. Kind of nice. Junior, do not break the house, please. I just built that. Haven't even got insurance on it yet. Just saying. So we got about 30, 60, 70,000. Should be fine, I think. Let's actually leave that there. We'll pull it over. 18 more of the rare flowers. How is our beehive doing? Fantastic. We got plenty of honey there. Got uh, 100 slots at 10 each, so it's not too bad. Alright, make sure we're doing good on food. Let's... Uh, I kind of want to move this guy. Kind of. We'll see. It's noon already, man. Holy crap. Let's pull our fiber in here. And then let's hatch a couple eggs. And we'll do some more upgrading. Like I said, man, it's a lot of stuff to do at base today. To do a little bit of each. <laughs> we got James everywhere. You guys good? You almost got one more coming out. We'll go ahead and stop it after that. Just until we see what we have. Got three eggs ready. Junior, I need to move you, buddy. It's, it's my fault I threw you there. I don't have a feed trough either. We need to set one out. Maybe at the front? Put this guy out over here. There we go. Let's grab our feed trough. Throw it out, and that should be good for all the guys raising up. Last thing I want to do is lose some tames, you know? Now, this is just temporary. I don't want this on our front deck out here, but for now, it'll work. That might be enough. We'll see. We'll pull this from the grill. Alright, so that's kind of sorted out. Let's throw out the eggs. Not sure what temperature we need for the Carnos. Too cold. Let's throw them in here by the forge, which might be done. Perfect. Oh, you know what? Uh, claim you. I totally forgot to set up. Stay there. Set up this for grabbing the little ones. Let's add in some of these. Settings, we're going to do auto trap and just auto trap and that's it. So the main thing we're looking for is the proper stats. Change it over to a male and female. And then we'll work on the color breeding as well. So that's our good tame. So there's our female. And then for the male, do we have any that have... That's the closest on, on the uh, colors. Ugly. <laughs> it's not your fault. That one's kind of ugly too. What is this color field up here? I'm not sure what's up with the gun. Interesting. It doesn't have the light colors, but maybe it's a gray? Hmm. Let it get raised up anyways. We'll just leave those guys on, get some more eggs, maybe we'll get some better colors, too. It's kind of weird that it has a color field that is shouldn't on there. I don't know. Alright, so, upgrade station. So we're still at Apprentice. It, it's sad watching all that high just disappear, you know? We need more metal ingots! Ah, oh, dude, how much is... Smelting up still. I mean, that's it. We're done. So that's as far as we can upgrade today, which is fine. Didn't expect to get max level or anything. We'll go ahead and make some augments, put them on there, and make it into a blueprint. Now, the thing about this, once we make that into a blueprint, and eventually I get some more resources kind of farmed up, we can take that, make another saddle, and kind of continue the upgrade path. So it's kind of cool, man. Not too bad in that aspect. So for right now, Let's... We need the augments first. The durability is 514. So 
it's a kind of expensive. As you see, too, it's down some, so I think we need to repair it before we make it into a blueprint. Now, you can't have it set up to where it automatically repairs it. I have it disabled. I think that's kind of broken. You should have to repair your stuff yourself and not get free repairs. So that is repaired. Now, for the augments, again, we're looking for the saddle ones for the durability. Let's make... Can we make 10? Wrong button, wrong button. Let's make 10 of those. I'm not sure how much you get for each one. Never really paid attention. Now, it would be cheaper just to make these. I mean, if you have polymer, and then upgrade the armor, but I don't want to do that. Like I said, for the saddles and stuff, I want to do it properly through the blueprints. Probably for everything. Now, you can't disable individual ones of these. It's either you have them all up here, or you have them all gone. It's kind of the way that it is. So let's do... let's do one augment. So we're at 514. That goes down a good bit. Goes down, what, about 30? 40? Something like that? Math is not my strong suit. We're down to 489. Let's do all of them. I think 100 is the lowest durability, because that's primitive. And it's down to 264. So that's not bad. It'd be a lot cheaper to make that. Let's do... 10 more if we can. And try to get it down to the 100. Now this is the one thing I hate. You cannot increase the cost of this. I wish I could. I want to make these a lot more expensive, but there's not an INI &I edit for that. There we go. And we actually got three left over. So, once you hit the lowest amount, it looks like it won't actually use these for no reason. Yep, there we go. So that's kind of set. So for right now, let's make this into a blueprint. Something else that is default, whenever you make this into a blueprint, it's set to give you back some resources. I forget the percent. I have that turned off. It's going to be a one-to-one. -one. We take this, make a blueprints. It still gave us some stuff. One of each. I don't want it. And there we go. So the cost is pretty cheap on this, but don't forget, man, we spent so much making this one blueprint. It's kind of worth it. So we got 1400 on the fiber. The metal ingots are about 350 and the hide is about 2600 So it's not too bad, man. Let's go ahead and make one. And as you can see, it is still painted. Junior! Buddy, you ready? Are you raised up? You are. Put you in here. Don't want you eating all my food. And we'll keep him for... for breeding. This one I don't think we want. Oh wait, he's got a mutation. Into food. Definitely do not want you. Let's do a remove folder. And then let's go ahead and build one of our saddles for the gator. We might just run this, as it is, for our boss fight. So I have to look back on the recording, the exact numbers, but I think we had around 100,000 on the hide, so we spent a little over half just upgrading. <laughs> super, super expensive. And it's only a 100.4. Now I think max level for saddles, I think, for the most part, is like 352 on the armor rating. So there's still a ton of ways to go, but again, as you get higher, it gets super, super expensive. So, here's a good saddle for our Dinosuchus. Now, seeing how we're kind of, kind of overpowered with these creatures, they are very overpowered. We might not take in a full flight. We're not using a UD. So I think what we might do is maybe take 10 in. Don't forget, we're just doing Gamma, version of the bosses. Maybe just take 10 in. I'll go ahead and raise up all of them, just so that we have some backups, and then kind of go from there. Alright, so you're good. Get you out of the way. Clean up base a little bit. We'll get the gators out here, do some breeding on them as well. You're empty. I think you're empty, right? Let's pick you up. And then we're done with the fairy. Pick that guy up. Let's see about the eggs. We're kind of waiting on the carnos. See, that yellow is still on them, even though it's not showing on a color field. That's super weird, dude. You guys are kind of joined at the hip, huh? Literally. Just saying. It's a little bit weird. Still got plenty of food. Let's grab these eggs. We'll throw them out here. Put these guys back where they go.
That one has the ugly yellow as well. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. And this one doesn't. Let's check all three of these. Just to see what the colors are. Oh yeah, the uh, final stats are going to be 40 into health, 41 into stamina, weight is 53, and fit, or 36 into damage. And that will change whenever we breathe that one in, the other one. Still has a green. Still has a green. What is going on? So that's the gray color on the top. 41. What is your feel? That's going to be 81. That's 81. So that one is not too bad. I think that 81 is the other color that we want out. So it's either going to be 41 or 81. Ah, oh, that sucks, dude. Hmm. It did get rid of the green, though. I would deal with this over dealing with that. That is just super, super ugly. So... What is our other... So that's a male, right? We'll keep that one for sure for the males. Let's pick this male up. Are you the male? You are. We'll get rid of you. They actually raise up super fast. And then we need to see about a female. And what color scheme do we have on our other... On the other female? It's gonna be ugly, man. It's eight, so it's kind of a light color. I mean, that might work out. That is a female, so let's do this. Let's turn off mating. I think the best I can do is hope for a good mutation. Now, we do got some more over on the center that I totally forgot about. That was the first ones that we did. And I don't know the color scheme on those, so it might work out. All the colors on this are good, except for... a green on the top. I don't want you either. So remove you, and remove both of these guys. And what we'll do is... probably try to breed that male with this female. That'll get the colors, or not the colors, but the stats moved over. And then possibly the colors, that light gray might look good versus what these have. Now let's put these guys in here as well for the moment. Just out of the way. Make a special folder for him. Just until we're sure that we have some colors that we, we somewhat like. <laughs> it's a little ugly, man, not gonna lie, but there's a ton of Carnos around. Let's grab our other gators. That's a male. We need a female. The main thing we need off of this is the the weight. I think we have 77 weight into our new one. I kind of like the white. If we can get the white moved over, and then probably the green removed, we should be fine. All right, so they're doing their thing. Waiting for that one to raise up. Hatch this last one. Probably don't want it. Ugly. Do we have anything else that we want to grind? Oh, we got the new salvage station? I don't think so, really. I do want to keep this, just in case. It seems like the other one's doing fairly well so far. Oh yeah, let's set out some of these too, while we're doing stuff. Waiting for the little ones, you know. They just set those out for the moment, and that's it. We do got some landscaping coming up probably in the next video. Want to do a lot of that and get it kind of sorted out. Put this one here. And this one here. Our guardians. I like it, man. I like it. Do the same thing back here. A little bit of food, a little bit of water. It is lunchtime. I'm super happy about the half railings, man. You have no idea how long I've been wanting those. Well, I mean, since ASA came out, right? Think back on our build. I need to move that plant. It's been bugging me. Ever since our build on the island, I was needing some of them. 
for the way that our indoor balcony was. There we go. I'm stuck. That's been bugging me. <laughs> so bad, dude. Alright, are you about ready? Almost. Wait on eggs from those guys. I think we're kind of done. Upgrade station is pretty cool. Now we can do the same thing with our other blueprints. Or like our armor. Oh, you know what? Our shotgun, too. We don't have enough metal to really do anything with that. Let's... Let's do some science real quick. So we got two of our... Shotguns. Let's use this one. We might end up losing it. Polymer. 4,000 polymer to upgrade that. So like I said, man, it's expensive, dude. So it's going to cost me a lot to use it. So that's why I might end up keeping it because I got the settings so high. But you can alter your other blueprints. I wanted to find something cheap. Let's use this. We'll build one. Not in my inventory. It's been a long day, man. Okay. Watch. Is it going to be... <laughs> It's going to be super expensive, too. Which, again, is fine, man. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. It's it's meant to be an alternative. You know? Mainly for the saddles and stuff, whenever I can't find them. So, for something like this, instead of decreasing the durability, we want to increase it, right? So that it lasts longer. So, that one is actually max level. So I have it set to where you can't take this from zero to max level. Like max level, like I said for the saddles, it's 354. I got it set to where once it hits the ascended state, it, it's stuck there. You can't do it anymore. So that kind of works, but we should be able to do the upgrades on the augments. I think it's considered a weapon, right? Now these are the ones in here for the armor, which has everything from the increased armor. You can decrease the armor. Not sure why you would. You can increase the durability. Decrease the durability. Now you've got the heat resist you can take up, you can take down, and you have the cold as well, which is to take it up or take it down. So it's kind of nice being able to alter your, your armor. We might do that with our good set of flak that we have over on the center. We'll have to see. So for this one, that's going to be for damage, durability. Let's take the durability up, and that's going to be metal ingot, fiber, obsidian, and hide. So it's all kind of different too. Let's do 10 of them, if we can. I don't want to mess with the damage ratings on most stuff. Maybe ah, I kind of want to do the, the blueprint path upgrade for that. So we went up to 353. What was it at? 241. So that's not too bad, man. That's a good little increase and it's kind of expensive, mainly for the obsidian and stuff. And again, we can make that into a blueprint, kind of keep it like it is. I wouldn't mind custom tailoring some of our armor and stuff for the hot and cold. I want to see if they can add in the I and I edits to make it cost more. That way it seems somewhat more proportionate, you know? Alright, let's throw you out. See what the colors look like. We're not going to spend all day breeding uh, colors over. Anything I want is the stats. We can always do colors later. Once we get some that look decent, you know? Doing your thing? You are. A little bit of lunch. Let's see if we got some of the gator eggs and see how that kind of works. Again, not spending all day on those. If it works out while we're recording, it works out. See, those need some heat as well. So we do need a new male and female. Because of the stat increase. So that one's actually perfect there, man. That's a color scheme I want. It's got the... Field 2, which is 79, and then the Field 5, which is the 36. So we got the white in that one. This one has a green. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. Now, do we have the mutation? We do. So our final stats for the Dinosuchus will be 55 into health, 51 into stamina, weight will be 77, because they're all hefty, man. We got the two extra points on that. And then 49, technically, into damage. So this guy will raise up. Let's throw him out front. 
A little bit more room. There we go, man. There we go. So he's dark colors, and then he's still got the white, too. I don't know. The white looks kind of good on him, I think. Kind of breaks it up. Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and grab all this stuff. Clean this guy out. We'll be getting rid of him. We've got a lot of points into him. We're up to 1,300% on the damage. Might actually keep him. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much the weight difference is. So we got 1,800 on the weight base for him. And once that guy gets raised up here, we'll check on his weight to see what the difference is. Might be worth it to change it out. Not sure how much two points will give us, but always an option, huh? Yep, don't look at me. Make some eggs, man. Make some eggs. Quite a few eggs. It's probably the last of the eggs that we'll do today. Yep, a little bit of lag. <laughs> it's quite a few dinos. How is this guy doing? Almost ready. 87%. What is your... Weights up to almost 1,800. Check our feed trough, too. These guys eat a ton of food. Adam eats, see? That's what I'm talking about. Let's do from the grill. And that'll be fine for now. Let's turn off mating on these guys. We're kind of done regardless on them. Hey, well, let's just pick them up. And then whatever we have, that's what we'll deal with. We should have the other female for these guys, and if so, we're kind of good to go. So we'll hold those still for the moment. So for the gators, don't want you. That is very, very ugly. Definitely don't want you. That's another male one. Might keep that for us. It doesn't have the field 79. Let's get rid of it. That's probably one of the ones we want to keep. Take a look at you. Remove you. Remove you. All we need is a female one that has the good stats, or the good colors. For the gators, that's horrible. Mutation into oxygen. Field 1. Super bright blue. I like blue, but not that kind of... Not that kind of blue. That one might be okay. We'll take a look at it. Ah, man, we did not get one of the female ones that we need. That's fine. I'll let them kind of do their thing. Off camera. And maybe we'll eventually get one. We losing daylight? We are. Holy crap, dude. Let's go over here. You're still ugly. Why do you have that little bit on the back that is still that yellow-green color? It's super, super weird, dude. And you still have the green one. Wrong button. That's a field 81. That's field 8. Maybe we need to find one that has black or a very dark color on that field 4 or 5, whatever it is. I don't know. I don't like either one of these. It's weird. It's like they're so stuck with that. I don't like it. Let's throw them away. We got a good breeding pair as it is anyways for these stats. We'll kind of work on colors later. Not sure if we'll do anything with Carnos here anytime soon, but it's kind of cool to have them, you know? The whole shiny mod thing. We'll still work on those. How far along is this guy? We'll take a look at him before we go. Oh, he's ready. Perfect. Do not run off the side. That would be very not perfect. So not very much. The only difference is 28 into weight. Now it'll scale more because we've got two more points into it. But other than that, it's not too bad. I mean, we'll keep this one. This will be our new breeder. And we'll get rid of the old one. What we could do... ...is change this out. That's a male one, right? It is. We'll get rid of him. And we'll do the rest of the breeding with this one. And all we're looking for is to get rid of the green... ...and then move the white over, which we already have on this one. So... ...we're changing out fields 3, which is 13, and then 4, which is 27... ...with 79 and 14. And that'll be the color scheme. That's not too bad. Alright. You guys can do your thing. If there's any eggs in here, we'll go ahead and... I'm gonna say we'll get rid of them. We might as well hatch them. Might get something that we need. We'll throw away our other breeders, too. Too cold! 
It's late in the day, man. Tell you what, it's fine. We'll eat these. We'll save the other ones for later. Turn that off. Super loud. I miss the longer days from the center. And this one we don't need anymore, so... We'll put them on hold for the moment. That's the shiny one. And then for our breeders... We don't need him anymore. That kind of works. That kind of works. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. Quite a bit of stuff done today here at base. Main thing is we got the upgrade station kind of up and running. I like it, man. I like how we can change the ionized settings to make a scale a lot higher. That was my main problem with it back in ASE, is everything was super cheap. Maybe there was an option to edit the INI files for it then. I don't remember seeing it, but really hope they add it in so we can do the augmentations as well. Want to make those costs a lot more for what they are. We got some of our breeding done. We got another shiny Carno. Kind of nice. Got our stats on them pretty well, but the colors are super ugly. We'll work on that later. It's not a big deal. The Dinosuchus got those guys kind of sorted out with the colors. We got the good male breeder. We still got to get the female one, but it shouldn't take too long. And then the main thing for today that is fantastic is we got half railings. I have been waiting forever to have those in game. So that'll kind of come into play next build that we do. Probably need them. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.